Yes, I mean, I, I'll be extremely honest with you. You know, um, we were really motivated after the indoor. Uh, Central had an outstanding indoor championship, and I really felt our men did a very good job indoors, but we fell two points short. Uh, and so that was one of our goals is, is to really work hard towards being able to um, really focus in uh, and, and not being in a position where we felt like um, two points was going to separate uh, one way or the other way. And I think every last one of those young men is really committed uh, after the indoor season um, uh, to just work hard um, and um, just to have the importance that, you know, one point do makes a difference. Uh, and and I, they was completely engaged all indoors, I mean, all outdoor season. Uh, and we had some challenges. We lost three meets, you know, uh, the weather, uh, you know, uh, but but they really stayed engaged in this weekend. Uh, I think they did a tremendous job, uh, you know, focusing in on, on what their goals was from the start on um, Thursday in the multis to the finish today. We, uh, you know, we graduated a, a great group last year. I mean, anytime you, I don't think people really realize the, the level of talent we graduated last year and then, you know, to, uh, for Alana to be injured. Um, but, you know, well, one of the things we talk about is just next woman up. Uh, have that next one step up. Uh, we're out, uh, was, was without a, a great number of distance runners because we have a lot of them studying abroad, which is part of the work You know, that's part of the work experience. Uh, and so um, to be able to do that uh, and to win the conference championship and continue that, that streak uh, is pretty special. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, first of all, congratulations to, you know, to Chad and, and the, the work he's done in the couple years that he's been over to Dubuque. And, and uh, you know, uh, again, that gives you the example of where the Iowa Conference is uh, in terms of competing at a very high level in terms of conference meets and national meets. So, so no, I, so definitely congratulations to him uh, for, for that award as well. Well, first off, I'm incredibly surprised. I have no idea how this happened, but you know, obviously we've done some great things. Uh, and the first, you know, the first people I have to thank are my athletes. You know, without athletes, there's no need for coaches. And we've got a very young team. We've got a small group of seniors, but those seniors have led us uh, and helped us do so many great things, uh, both in cross country and in track over these last two years. Uh, also, our coaching staff, you know, college coaches work for peanuts, and trust me, these guys must love peanuts. So we've we've managed to do some, some good things in a couple years, but we still have a lot of goals we haven't yet achieved and a lot of things we still need to do. And so I'm just, I'm really proud of my team. I'm proud of my staff, and you know, I'm very humbled by this award. It's something, like I said, was a huge surprise, but it's exciting because, you know, the, the work that we put in is, you know, there's, there's things that make it work at the end of the day. And to have two great performances out of our men's team and women's team this weekend uh, make it all worth it. So it's, you know, it's, it's a blessing, and I'm very excited for next year. Well, going in the meet, you know, every every coach will score it with the heat sheets to see where they'll fit in, and uh, we knew that it was going to be a race to, for third with Loris, and they did a phenomenal job. We we outscored what we could do, um, in our projections, which was nice, but uh, you know, to be fourth place on the men's side, that sweep in the hundred helped a ton. You know, and two of those guys are freshmen. Tyrone coming in uh, did not have the third fastest time, but just really executed a great race. And so for him to move up and uh, get on the podium in third uh, really helped with the points and kind of our momentum throughout the finals day. Uh, Nikki McKenzie in the jumps did a phenomenal job. CJ Watson in the jumps did a phenomenal job. Um, you know, our, our women's team is small, and all of our women uh, in our relays, uh, both our 4x1 and 4x4 and our 4x8 that set a new school record, uh, those teams did a great job. Men's team, uh, men's 4x8 team set a school record. So, you know, we've got a lot of freshmen and a very young group, but they're doing some good things. They're working hard, and uh, they're even excited to kind of come back with a year under their belt and do even more next year. So it's just, it's been a great meet all around, and it's nice to be in our hometown and be close. So. Uh, very excited uh, for the weekend and how things went. Uh, to work alongside the coaches at these other schools, I've already learned so much just from watching uh, the way they coach and watching how their athletes compete uh, at meets, but I'm a part of a great group of head coaches uh, in the Iowa Conference uh, and a part of, like you said, one of the best conferences in the country, so it's, it's, it's very tough week in, week out. It's certainly tough when we get to meets like this, but uh, it's a great place to be and I wouldn't have it any other way. I'm, I'm very, very, very excited for what I get a chance to do every day. So it's been a great experience.